Today's video is all about cleaning out the fridge, but before I can clean out the fridge, I need to get the sink and all the counters cleaned off because I'm about to empty everything from my refrigerator and put it out on my kitchen counter. I just recently passed 100 subscribers on YouTube, which I was super excited about. And that means once you hit 100 subscribers, you can create a custom URL. So you can now find me at youtube.com forward slash never not cleaning. You can also find me on Instagram under never not cleaning. So if you're not following me over there, when you're finished watching this video, go follow me. These George Foreman grills are super convenient to cook with, especially chicken nuggets, but man, are they a pain to clean. Are you really ever done dishwashing if you haven't missed a dish? As soon as I turn the sink off, I turn around to grab the towel to dry my hands, and I see pans still sitting on the stove that need to be washed. My friends are in the club, we'll go all night. I see you in the back the okay now we're starting with the most tedious part taking everything out of the refrigerator there was so much stuff that was expired or had gone bad it was ridiculous I have to apologize in advance for these focus problems. It's about 5.30 and the sun is setting and when the sun sets, it's setting directly into the kitchen window and I have shears on it, but I don't really ever close them and even if I did, it wouldn't help. So as the sun is setting, it's super bright in this window and it's really hard to get good lighting. Okay, here it is. This is everything out of my refrigerator. I really like that the bins in the door of my refrigerator are clear versus a solid color because that allows me to put things like sour cream, for example, that's not something that's tall into the door and I can still see, even if it's at eye level, that there's sour cream in there. I don't know if you could see from this angle, but that was a dead daddy long legs, mosquito hawk, whatever they're called, in the bottom. So I grabbed a paper towel to clean that out and now I'm using one of my reusable cloths. It's kind of like a car chamois that you just get wet or here I'm spraying it with all-purpose cleaner but you could use just water and then I just rinse it out and keep using it over and over. The clock on the wall there says it's 7 o'clock, but it's really not. It's only about 6 o'clock, and I just haven't bothered to get up on a ladder yet and change the batteries. Mostly because I have four clocks all standing right there in front of me. The coffee, the microwave, the stove, my Alexa, and that one makes five. So it doesn't really matter to me that it says 7 o'clock for a week.
Before I put everything back in the refrigerator, I want to make sure that it's not expired or gone bad. So I'm going through everything, checking expiration dates, and I'm going to dump out and rinse everything that is recyclable. So that's what's going in the sink here, and then the rest is going in the trash. Got the feeling from the start, you might be the guy who break my heart. Hello. About six months ago, I cleaned out my refrigerator and did all the same stuff back then, but I took all the shelves out and tried to reorganize, and I discovered that where I have the shelves is really the best place for them to store the size and shape of the foods that I buy. So I'm just leaving them where they are. I've mentioned in the last couple of videos I'm on a quest to try and drink more water so I've started buying flavored water but this flavored water is actually for the baby and that's what gave me the idea to buy some for myself. So these are just strawberry and grape flavored water and they fit perfectly like in a little um, sippy cup for the baby. These Nestle Pure Life waters are the ones that I bought for myself after I had bought those other ones for her I thought why not buy them for me too. I just don't particularly care for the grape and strawberry, so that's why I don't drink those. I'm telling you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I made a bacon, lettuce, and pickle sandwich the other day. Those oh snap pickles are so delicious. I highly recommend them. Also, I'm aware of how sad that lettuce looks, but I kept meaning to cut it up to make salad, and I took it out of the package because I was going to cut it up, and then I didn't cut it up, and then it was time to clean, and then I still didn't cut it up, so I ended up throwing it away. Oh look, an entire bowl of lettuce that I actually cut up for salad and still ended up throwing it away. As I'm dumping out all of the containers, this is jelly and salad dressing and mayonnaise, honey mustard dressing, soy sauce, you name it, that was expired and I start dumping it out. Let me just say, the smell of all of those things combined was disgusting. I laugh when I look back at this. I saw her standing there next to me and I thought like she was just hungry, but she probably saw me opening these lids with my mouth and probably thought I was eating and not feeding her. That little girl is all about the food. Since I spent all of my time this evening cleaning out the refrigerator, I'm going to make her a quick quesadilla for dinner. Mayo, 
Miracle Whip, soy sauce, strawberry jelly, grapes, lettuce, applesauce, heavy cream, and milk to my shopping list. I have added mayo, Miracle Whip, soy sauce, strawberry jelly, grapes, lettuce, applesauce, heavy cream, and milk to your shopping list. Thanks for sitting through my whole video today and watching it to the end. I do appreciate it. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and I will see you in next week's video.